What's up, it's Chris Heria. Today I'm gonna to be showing you five delicious, healthy lunch options that you can make right from home to build some solid muscle and get shredded simultaneously. You're gonna notice all the meals I'll be showing you today are high in protein and low in calories, which are the main ingredients for burning fat while building muscle. And I've also included different meals with either higher carbs or higher fats that will cater to a variety of macro requirements for different people. And these are meals that I've been eating for the past couple of years, but no matter which meal you try, it's definitely gonna be delicious, high in protein and low in calories to have you building some lean, solid solid muscle while simultaneously getting shredded. So with that said, let's get right into the first meal. One of my absolute favorites, steak with the Greek salad. This meal consists of a six ounce cut of sirloin steak, half a cup of onions, one fourth cup tomatoes, one cup of cucumbers, one tablespoon of red wine vinegar, one tablespoon of a squeezed lemon, half an ounce of feta cheese, and five olives. All right, so first things first, we're gonna start preparing our six ounces of steak. All right, let's check that. Woo, 6.2. All right, let's start preheating the stove. About halfway heat, pop out our avocado spray. This is zero calories. All right, let's chop up some onions, get the flavor going. If you guys saw my last nutrition video on five healthy meals for weight loss, you would see that I love cooking with onions and it's the best way to naturally enhance and bring out the flavor of any protein that you're making. All right, we got our one fourth cup of onions. Go ahead, throw them in there, let's let that glaze. Make sure the heat's not too high. I'm gonna save the next one fourth for the steak. All right, let's get into this steak. We're gonna lightly season this with some complete seasoning. This is also zero calories. It's very important to be conscious of exactly what you're cooking with. A lot of condiments and different things that you can use to enhance the flavor you can also add a bunch of unwanted calories. Now we're gonna be using Himalayan pink salt. This is also zero calories. Flip it over. Last but not least, some black pepper. Again, zero calories. Just give it a nice crack. Now you see I put some on the side. All right, here we have our piece of steak. Drop that in. All right, we're gonna let that cook on low for about three minutes, and in the meantime, we're gonna start preparing our salad. So we're gonna be using two cups of spinach. Definitely wanna make sure that all your vegetables are already washed. All right, next up, we're gonna cut up one fourth cup of these small cherry tomatoes. All right, next up, we're gonna add one cup of cucumbers. Cucumbers are super low in calories, but they have a lot of nutrients and vitamins as well. All right, there we have our one cup of cucumbers. All right, and just like that, we're almost done preparing our salad, and we are just about ready to flip. Whew this steak. Really quick, I'm just gonna cut up the last one fourth cup of onions. Drop those in there and take the flavor to the next level. Turn down to a simmer because we are almost done with the steak. All right, getting back to our salad and place in our cherry tomatoes, place in our cucumbers. All right, I have my olives, drop in five of them. Drop in one tablespoon red wine vinegar, make that go a long way. And then we're gonna squeeze in half a lemon. And lastly for this salad, we're gonna add in the feta cheese, just crumble it right on top. This salad looks delicious already, but we're missing the main ingredient, six ounce steak without grilled onions. And there you have it, one of my absolute favorite combos, six ounce sirloin steak with a Greek salad. Totaling only 416 calories, calories, 18 grams of carbs, 40 grams of protein, and only 19 grams of fat. It's hard to believe that this much amount of food and something that looks so delicious can be so healthy. There's only one thing left to do, and that's to give it a solid taste test. You know what? I can't do my own taste test. I have to have the camera guys give me their honest opinion. What do you think? One out of 10. 10. Woo! Let's go, baby. Stefan, give it a try, man. Let's go. Don't gas me up. Let me know what it's like. 10 out of 10. All right. You heard what it is. Let's move on to the next meal. Again, another one of my favorites. In fact, something that I've been eating since I was a little kid, that's gonna be the good old fashioned tuna sandwich. Now for one tuna sandwich, we're gonna be using two cans of tuna, two slices of Dave's Killer Bread, one fourth cup of onions, one tablespoon of mustard, one tablespoon of chives, one fourth cup of cilantro, one tablespoon of light mayo, one tablespoon of a squeezed lemon, and one fourth cup of celery, totaling 379 calories for just one tuna sandwich. And the calories are so low, you can technically make two or even one and a half. Now first, things first. Let's open up our two cans of tuna. Now tuna is very cost effective. It's really not expensive at all and you definitely make some serious gains. Whenever I eat tuna, I'm always getting shredded. Let's get our tuna into a bowl. All right, next up we're going to cut one fourth cup of onions. There we have our one fourth cup chopped onions. Go ahead and throw those in there. All right, next we're going to add a quarter cup of cilantro. Chop this nice and fine. All right, there we have our one fourth cup of cilantro. Throw that in there. We're gonna add a quarter cup of celery. This is also optional as well. All right, there goes our quarter cup of celery. Last but not least, we're gonna add one tablespoon of chives. All right, there we have our one tablespoon of chives. Mix it all together. Now before adding the last finishing touches to our tuna, let's go ahead and toast two slices of Dave's Killer Bread. This is some of the best bread that you could be eating if you're really trying to make some gains. All right, we're gonna get back to our tuna. Now it's time to add in one tablespoon of some light mayo. One tablespoon of mustard. I love the taste of tuna with mustard. Also, zero calories. And last but not least, one tablespoon of a fresh squeezed lemon. All right, there we have the toast. Just 
in time. Let's go ahead and put that down, finish mixing this up. So here we have our gourmet tuna. We're gonna go ahead and start placing that onto our bread. All right, there we have it. Chris Heria's gourmet tuna sandwich for absolute gains. And the macros for this delicious toasted tuna sandwich is gonna be only 379 calories, 46 grams of protein, 36 grams of carbs, and six grams of fat for just one tuna sandwich. This is a super light meal that's packed with protein that will get you absolutely shredded. If that's your goal, you definitely wanna try it. And that's actually what I'm gonna have one of the guys do right now. He wants to try it first. What you think? You made that super fast. Tastes really good, I would eat that. All right, Paz, let me know what you think. 10 out of 10. Really? Yeah, Another 10 out of 10? Okay, okay, so there you go. Another 10 out of 10. Even Paz is not a fan of fish and he loved it. Let's move into the next meal. Coming up next, we have protein pasta with six ounces of grilled chicken and sauteed spinach. For this meal, we're gonna be using two ounces of dry protein pasta, six ounces of chicken breast, two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese, avocado spray, one tablespoon of basil, one cup of spinach, and one clove of garlic. All right, first things first. Fill up a pot with water. We're gonna add a couple grinds of salt and set it to boil. All right, while we wait for the water to boil, we're gonna start preparing our grilled chicken. First, we're gonna crush up one clove of garlic, throw it into the pan. To start bringing out the flavor in the pan, now you don't wanna put it too hot, we're gonna put it just under a quarter. All right, now we can start preparing our chicken. I'm gonna be cutting up our chicken into small pieces. It's gonna cook a whole lot faster this way. You can also just cook the entire piece and then cut it up after. Now we're just gonna add some black pepper, Himalayan pink salt, a bit of zero calorie, complete seasoning. I can already hear the water, it's just about boiling. Let's go ahead and drop the the pasta into this boiling water. We're gonna let it boil for seven minutes. This is gonna be about one cup of pasta after it's cooked. All right, we have our chicken pot sizzling. Let's make sure it's not too hot. Let's go ahead and roll that in there. All right, we're gonna be cooking this chicken here for about three and a half to six minutes. All right, this is coming along well. Let's start chopping up our basil. We're gonna be chopping up one tablespoon of basil. Let's go ahead and check back on the chicken. All right, chicken's coming along. Our noodles are just about ready to go. Let's go ahead and strain them. I don't always eat pasta, but when I do, it's protein pasta. We're gonna go ahead and throw it into the pan of our chicken. So as this is just about ready to finish, we're gonna go ahead and get started on our last piece to finish off this meal. We're gonna be sauteing one cup of spinach. Sauteed spinach is not only super delicious, but also very nutritious. And if you don't like eating spinach, this is probably the best and fastest way to eat a whole bunch of it. You're gonna see this whole cup is gonna turn into a really small portion. So I add the avocado spray, then I add my spinach leaves, zero calorie Himalayan pink salt, zero calorie black pepper. Oh my goodness, I wish you guys can smell through the camera. This smells insane. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in our chopped up basil. You don't wanna cook up the basil too much and you'll really lose the flavor. You wanna put it in at the very end. All right, now let's take our last bit of basil, sprinkle it on top, fresh basil right on top. Yes, sir, this is what I call chicken pasta. I'm just gonna add a bit more garlic. There we have our sauteed garlic spinach. Now, as you can see, this was a whole cup of spinach before. Now it is just a couple bites. Super greens, slam packed with nutrients and vitamins for you to get absolutely shredded. Last but not least, we're gonna add on two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. That's only 20 calories. And really, I only use like one tablespoon. And there you have it, Chris Heria's protein pasta with chicken and sauteed spinach. Now this plate of food is only 495 calories, but a whole 60 grams of protein, 39 grams of carbs, and only six grams of fat. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Pasta's amazing, chicken is perfect. Whoo, how about that spinach? Give me a rating. 10 out of 10. Damn, everything is 10 out of 10 today. I don't know if these guys are gassing me up. There's only one way to find out. You guys definitely need to try it and make it yourself. Let me know your honest opinion down below. Pass, let's go ahead and give this a taste. Be a harsh critic. This is probably the best one yet. Damn, for real? What's the number? What's the rating? Another 10. <laughs> All right, let's hope the next meals are also a 10 out of 10. Moving on, we have another one of my favorites, Chris Heria's Healthy Baked Chicken Wings. For this meal, we're gonna need five chicken wings, six ounces of celery, one tablespoon of light ranch, and lemon and pepper seasoning salt. First things first, we're gonna preheat our oven to 400 degrees. And while we're waiting for our oven, we're gonna go ahead and start preparing our chicken. And we're gonna be seasoning our chicken with zero calorie lemon and pepper seasoning. And a little bit of Himalayan salt. Rub that in. Now this dish is gonna take a while to cook, but it's worth the wait. And it's very simple, just pop these in the oven at 400 degrees for 15 minutes, then flip them over and cook for another 15 minutes and they're ready to go. All right, we're gonna go ahead and check on our chicken wings. Woo, these things are looking good. Let's go ahead and flip them over. Let's pop them back in there for another 15 minutes and lunch will be served. Now you can't have chicken wings without some celery and some ranch. One tablespoon of ranch. All right, the moment we've all been waiting for. Look at that, oh my goodness gracious. The other day somebody was asking me what my favorite food was and then my answer was chicken wings. I freaking love chicken wings. There you have it. 
It was long worth the wait. Five grilled chicken wings with some celery and light ranch dressing, totaling 475 calories, 40 grams of protein, four grams of carbs, and 31 grams of fat. A perfect and delicious meal for those of you on the ketogenic diet. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. You really taste the lemon, yeah. skin is crunchy, cooked perfectly. Ooh, he is not lying. This is cooked to perfection. This is exactly how I love chicken to taste. Every time you take a bite, it is juicing with flavor and it has the perfect texture to chicken. And with the lemon pepper seasoning, this flavor is absolutely bussing. I think Rick Ross would really be impressed with this. Now let's move on to the next meal. That's gonna be a baked sweet potato stuffed with chicken. For this meal, you're gonna need an eight ounce sweet potato, six ounces of chicken breast, two tablespoons of Parmesan, one tablespoon of chives, and one tablespoon of sour cream. First things first, we're gonna preheat our oven to 400 degrees. And once it's close to 400 degrees, we're gonna wrap our sweet potato in aluminum foil and pop it in there for 30 minutes. And while we're waiting for our sweet potato to bake, we're gonna go ahead and start preparing our chicken. First, we're gonna cut it up into small tiny pieces so that it can fit inside the sweet baked potato. All right, now that we got our chicken cut up, go ahead and drop in a little bit of complete seasoning, some Himalayan pink salt, some black pepper, now this is optional and you can also just chop up some onions instead, throw that in there. But to conserve time and a tiny bit of calories, I'm gonna be using some onion powder. Let's go ahead and turn on the stove. Now in about 15 minutes, we're gonna start cooking the chicken. That's gonna give us some time for the sweet potato to be ready at the same time. All right, one of the last ingredients to prepare, one tablespoon of chopped chives. All right, the sweet potato has been baking for a little over 20 minutes. It's time to start cooking our chicken. Let's go ahead and drop in our seasoned chicken. Hopefully by the time this is fully cooked, our baked sweet potato is gonna be 100% ready. All right, now every single piece is starting to look glazed. This only took about four and a half, four minutes. Let's go ahead and drop it down onto a plate. I'm actually gonna cut this up a little more so that it fits nicer and neater into the sweet baked potato. Time to take out that sweet potato. All right. All right, I just split this sweet baked potato right down the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and just drop the chicken. Oh, I broke the sweet potato, but that's okay. It's not all about presentation. It's really all about the macros and how delicious this is going to be. All right, there we have it. Let's just add our toppers. One tablespoon of sour cream. Next, sprinkle on the chives. And lastly, two tablespoons, some Parmesan cheese. And there we have it, the baked sweet potato stuffed with chicken. Now this whole entire dish is only 455 calories, but it's slam packed with 53 grams of protein, 40 grams of carbs, and only five grams of fat. So this is gonna be the last taste test of the day. I'm trying to get all tens today. All right, give me your honest opinion. 10 and 10. No way, really? Hey, you heard the man. These dishes are super simple to make and they taste absolutely delicious. And best of all, they're high in protein and low in calories, which are the main ingredients for building some solid lean muscle and simultaneously getting shredded. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, five delicious lunch options that you can make right from home to get absolutely shredded and build muscle. Let me know down in the comment section which one was your favorite or which one you're dying to try. And if you do happen to make one, please tag us in your video, whether on YouTube or on Instagram. Let us know what you think and we'll definitely be reposting the best content. And if you enjoyed the video or learned anything new at all, please smash that like button. We really appreciate it. And it helps YouTube share our videos to more people out there. And to show my appreciation, if you comment down below within 30 minutes of any upload, you're always gonna have a chance to win some Harry apparel. So make sure you hit the subscribe button with the bell notifications on right now so that you never miss out on a video. I post every single Thursday, 2 p.m. USA Eastern time. And now you have the nutrition down to build some solid lean muscle and get shredded, but that's only half of it. You'll also need to incorporate these meals with the right training and the right workout programming. And to get full access to all my personal workout routines that I do and workout programs that I've created with specific goals in mind, like building solid lean muscle while simultaneously getting shredded, then download the Harry Pro app in the App Store or Google Play Store. Take all my personal routines with you on the go. It's like having me as a personal trainer right in your pocket. Lastly, for more of my content during the week, make sure you're following me on Instagram and TikTok. Every single post, I always do some type of giveaway. So if you want a chance to be a part of that, make sure you're subscribed, liking, and commenting. And with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next Thursday, 2 p.m. USA Eastern Time. Mad love and peace out. that like button guys